Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, your go-to source for tech tutorials and guides. In today's video, we're diving into something exciting for all you privacy conscious users out there. Link Warden, if you're tired of relying on third-party bookmark managers, Link Warden is a self-hosted alternative that's perfect for you. And the best part, we're going to set it up using Docker. Let's jump right in. Link Warden is an open source, self-hosted bookmark manager. It helps you organize, tag, and search your bookmarks, all while keeping your data private and under your control. It's similar to tools like Pocket or Pinboard, but you run it on your own server. Make sure you have Docker installed before you start installing. Check the link in the description on how to install Docker on Ubuntu if you do not have it already installed on your system. After installing Docker, the other essential component is Docker Compose. You can install it by running the next two commands. Next, let's create a directory for Linkwarden. Then change directory to the newly created directory. Next, we'll create a Docker Compose file. This file will define the Linkwarden service and its dependencies, like a blueprint for our Docker setup. This file will define the services, volumes, ports, and so on. Paste the following content into the file. Once the Docker Compose file is set up, save and close the editor. Next, in the same directory, create a file named .environment, open it, and paste the following content inside it. Replace the sensitive secret and your post-gray password values with unique, secure phrases of your choice. To bring up Linkwarden, simply run the following command. This command will pull the required images and start the containers in detached mode. After a few moments, Linkwarden will be running on your server or local machine. To access Link Warden, open your browser and go to localhost 1000. If you're running it on a remote server, replace localhost with your server's IP address. The login screen will greet you. Click on the sign up link to create a user. For better security, especially if you're accessing Link Warden over the internet, setting up HTTPS is a good idea. You can use a reverse proxy like Nginx, along with Let's Encrypt for, fee, for free SSL certificates. With Link Warden up and running, you can start adding bookmarks organizing them with tags, and even searching through them with ease. The interface is simple and straightforward, making it a powerful tool for keeping your web resources organized. And that's it. You now have your own self-hosted bookmark manager running with Docker. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more tech tutorials. If you have any questions or run into issues, drop a comment below. I'm here to help. Thanks for watching and happy bookmarking.